What's up YouTube? Jeff your style OG. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my Gucci horse bit loafer collection. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing men's lifestyle topics such as style, women, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and ring the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Marcus Moody, salute. So in today's video, not only do I wanna share with you one of my passions, the Gucci horse bit loafer, but I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about investment pieces and why it actually makes wise financial sense to invest in them. So not only with the Gucci horse bit loafer, but items such as a Burberry trench coat or a barber wax jacket or a Rolex watch, what you're doing is investing your money in timeless, well-made quality materials that you know you can wear for decades and decades. So my belief system is you're actually saving money when you have things that'll never go out of style and you don't have to replace them with trendy items. So what exactly is the Gucci horse bit loafer? Now, it was invented back in 1963 by one of the members of the Gucci family. He took your standard loafer or moccasin, added a horse bit across the vamp, and voila, the classic that we have today was born. Now, it's basically remained in the same style throughout the years, with the silhouette changing a little bit, with it being a little more narrow, or sometimes the toe being a little more square around it, but it's basically the same shoe that we've had since 1963. Now, the first pair I wanted to share with you today is actually my first pair of Gucci horse bit loafer, this black pair. Now, I've had these for over 15 years, and the great thing about the Gucci loafer, because it's made of such great quality leather, the only thing I've had to do to keep these up to date and looking good is that I've replaced the heel about three times. Now, as you can see, this being my first pair, what I was thinking, let me get a very solid basic color that I know won't draw too much of attention if I wear it a lot, because who knows if I'll be able to get another pair. So that's why I went with the black pair first. And I love the detailing of the NATO Gucci logo type strap across the top. So it gave it a little bit of a standout, but it wasn't too flashy. So that's why I bought this pair first. Now here we are with the black ones on feet. What I wanna do is show you how this classic style looks good with different types of pair of pants, whether it's a suit pants, an odd trouser, these classic styles you can wear forever with different types of pants. Now just like anybody with a newfound passion, fellas after that first pair, I was hooked. Only problem, although I wanted more, the pockets just wouldn't allow it at the time. But after saving my pennies for a couple of years, I was eventually able to get this second pair, a brown pair. My thought process, I already got a black, might as well grab brown. And one of the great things about the Gucci horse bit loafer is that the leather is hand stained, meaning no shoe will look exactly the same because it's done individually. Now here we are with these on feet, this time with a pair of chinos. Notice how the great leather brings out what is otherwise a very plain looking pair of pants to be honest. The shoes are the star here. Now for several years, those were the only two pair I had. Not because I didn't want any more, financially just wasn't in the cards. But here's one of the things I want to stress to you about investment pieces. I literally wore both of these shoes hundreds of times and I still have them today and will be wearing them for decades to come. So although they both cost upwards of five or $600, if you think about it, for a lifetime of wear, they're actually a bargain. So after rocking those two pairs for several years, I was able to save a few more bucks. But I said this time, let me step away from your standard solid black and brown and be a little more daring. See, after you have your basic foundational pair, you can add a little more flair to your collection. So that's what I did with this cognac colored pair with the Guccissima print. That's how they pronounce it, I believe. So at the time in the mid 2000s, this was a very popular print that they had on a lot of the handbags and luggage. And I loved how it looked on the shoe. So not only did I grab this pair, then turned around and grabbed this darker brown version of the same print. I like how it had a little bit of the flair, but it didn't stand out quite as much as the cognac. This one you can work in a little bit more in your wardrobe. Now what I wanted to illustrate to you here as I show you the brown ones on feet is the theory of mixing high and low. So although I have a $600 pair of loafers on, the pants are $8 from Goodwill thrift store. So when you mix high and low, the high end item brings up the overall quality of the whole outfit. 
Okay, so there you have it. My Gucci horse bit loafer collection and my thoughts on investment pieces as a whole. Let me know in the comment section what your investment pieces are. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll see you tomorrow.